Uh, this is an R&B or riff that's a lot like Jesse J's price tag, but it's a lot like a lot of things, and you can use this sort of trick to embellish uh, your R&B. Um, <coughs> so um, anyway, the chords. This is all in D, and these chords are all diatonic to E D. And uh, they're first of all the one chord, which is a D major. The three chord, which is an F sharp minor. I'm playing these chords with the roots on the 6th, so this is an F sharp minor with the root on the 6th. 4 chord, which is a G major. And the 5 chord, which is an A7. But here we usually just play an A major. Okay, and it's going to sound great. Um, and I'll show you some variations you can play in A7th. And that's going to sound great too. Alright, so here it is. Here's the pattern. It's going to start out with, as I said, on the tenth, this bar chord with a D on the root note on the sixth. So two of those. And we're going to embellish each one of these by, by triads that are played on the first three strings. So the first one is this. And that's 14, 15, 14 on the first, second, and third strings, respectively. And if you're having trouble visualizing that one, just think the D chord that you learned when you first started playing guitar, the little D that you learned, and you just pull it up a whole octave, and that's that chord. Okay, so the second one is this, which is a which is 12, 12, 12. It's actually an E minor triad. And the third one is 10, 10. 11, which is a D major triad again. So two of each of those. Here's how the whole thing sounds. Now we're going to play the same patterns over the G and the A, but the F sharp is going to be a little bit different. So the F sharp minor, play two of those, and then you're going to play... So that one is... 5, 7, and 6, again on the strings 1, 2, and 3. That's an F sharp ma uh, minor triad. <clears throat> and then you're going to play 4, 4, 4, and 2, 2, 2. Okay? Now the G major. That's seven, eight, seven, five, 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 three, three, four. And finally the A major. Play that again. That's nine, ten, nine, seven, 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 and five, five, six. Now the variation you can play on that one is. play an A seventh triad there, and that is just nine eight nine instead of nine ten nine. So here's the major, and here's the ma and here's the seventh, not the major seventh, the seventh chord. Again, that's nine eight nine, and then you do the same thing. All right. So uh, in its entirety, again, it sounds like this. This one's a lot of fun to play with friends or to put on a looper and just to jam away if you want. It's all in D, so you can just play D major, and that sounds good. You can occasionally stick in a, a Mixolydian scale or play a blues lick or two, and that sounds good too. But uh, like I said, we'll do some soloing maybe, uh, maybe next time if people want it. Uh, until then, we'll see you on down the road. <laughs>